All right, guys, today is Thursday, so it is Nurses Making the News on Thursday. There you go. Today we are talking about the same thing we've been talking about with a little bit of a difference, the shortage that is going on among health care. Today, more specifically, the CNAs, the nurses' aides, the medical assistants, whatever you want to call them, LNAs I've heard them called before, they are also in a mass shortage. One thing to note about the CNAs is they do the exact same amount of hours that the nurses do. Whatever the nurse shift is, there's also a CNA shift that goes along with it. They're right there beside the nurses the entire time. They are the aid to the nurses. They typically do the gross work that the nurses don't. You know, they don't pass meds or anything like that, but they definitely clean up patients, help feed patients, help move patients, help change patients, things like that. And they work very hard and very long hours just as the nurses do. These CNAs are now becoming very hard to find due to, well, you guessed it, the pandemic that's going on. Pretty much wherever a nurse goes, there's got to be a CNA somewhere close by. Not always, but typically wherever a nurse is, there's typically at least one CNA, if not more, especially in the nursing homes. The nursing homes are being hit very hard by this pandemic as the CNAs just aren't there. They're just not there. Some states have answered with ways to get the nurses' aides, the CNAs, quicker certification, an accelerated CNA program, if you will. Some states are offering these accelerated programs. If you are in a state like mine here in North Carolina, we can actually challenge the CNA exam. However, if you want to go to school after becoming a CNA, like if you want to further your medical education, then you really need to have one of these certifications before challenging the exam. And certain states are now accelerating the program to become a CNA. So I don't know if people are or are not taking advantage of this accelerated program that the CNA or certain states are offering for the CNAs, which is really good in my opinion. Also, there are sign-on bonuses to help combat this issue with the CNAs just not being there, not really existing or anything like that. One thing that is definitely driving away these CNAs is one, they do a very hard, dirty job. And a lot of people just can't handle that. And then once you add on top of that, the COVID that's sort of coming in, a lot of people are saying, you know what, I'm out. And CNAs are just not even coming in. They're just quitting. They're leaving their jobs due to, one, it's just a dirty, nasty job that no one already wanted to do. And two, now you add COVID on top of this and people just don't want to do it at all. <sighs> I was a CNA for six years and I can't really say that I do blame these people for not wanting to go into work after one, battling very hard conditions, and then two, now battling the COVID. Yes, I could understand people not wanting to go to work as a CNA because they are not paid very much at all. And they work the same hours that the nurses work. When a nurse is there on Christmas Day night, a CNA is right there with them on Christmas Day night. Or Thanksgiving, there's a CNA right there with them on Thanksgiving, New Year's. Whatever day you name, that a nurse works, there's a CNA right there with them. So they're doing the exact same amount of hours, the exact same days that the nurses are doing, and doing it for maybe half the pay. Maybe half the pay. The CNAs are just not paid enough, and this is probably definitely a contributing factor to them not coming into work, them leaving their positions. This is not a very good thing to have, as nurses need their CNAs gotta have those CNAs. I mean, when, when you're doing a med pass and somebody messes up in the bed and you have no CNA to clean them up, guess what? You are the one that has to clean them up. Having these CNAs is very beneficial. Having a good CNA is the best thing that can make your shift go well. Having a bad CNA can ruin your night or your day, whenever it may be. <sighs> CNAs are irreplaceable. And now they're becoming harder and harder to find due to the shortage that is going on and they're just not getting paid enough, and they're just not getting enough recognition. So, here I am, telling you, CNAs, if you are out there, or if you want to be a CNA, please go ahead and find yourself an accelerated program. Go ahead and find yourself a program, and do it if you want to be a CNA. We need you out there. 
the nurses, I, as a nurse, not the representative for all nurses, as a nurse, I'm asking you, the CNAs, come on out there, help us out. We're all in this together. I know that the nurses seem to be the ones who get all of the uh, credit for doing the COVID floors or, or, or ICUs or whatever it may be. However, these CNAs are also on the COVID floors and also in the ICUs. Believe it or not, wherever there's a nurse, there is a CNA. So just think about that next time you want to kind of be mean to the CNAs. Somewhere out there, there's a CNA also with that nurse. True story. Hope this shortage ends. I hope something ends this shortage. You know, maybe the COVID will go away and the nursing shortage and the CNA shortage will go away. That would be, it'd be wonderful. Believe it or not, there are actually doctors who are now having to help the nurses with tasks like this because there just isn't help out there. Like this video. Check out this one over here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe over there. If you like Nurses Making the News on Thursday, there is a playlist. It should be listed down below. Check that list out as well. This is now, I think, the fifth installment, maybe the sixth. I'm not sure. Be sure to check them out. Thank you so much.